Hey folks, uh, this lesson is on writing equations of parallel lines. Okay, so it's an extension of uh, our section 2.4 in our integrated math 1 series. So, so here, lines are parallel if they have the same slope or equal slopes, and we kind of discovered that in the last lesson. So let's graph both of these lines on the same graph, and are they parallel? Okay, so here I see a, a, a y equals 2 thirds x minus 1, so I'll graph the minus 1 first, and then this one's negative 2x plus 3y equals 6. Let's get the numbers over here. All right, let's graph this one. I'll graph this one in red first. So I'll put uh, the negative 1 down here in red. It's going to go right here. Okay, and then I'm going to use my slope. My slope is up 2 to the right 3. So I'm going to go up 2, so right there, and then to the right 3. So I'll put a point right there. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and connect it up and write the equation next to it right there in red, okay? All right, this other one, you guys, it's easiest to do what's called the intercept method. So I'm going to uh, let x be 0 and let y be 0 and solve for the other variable. Okay, so when x equals 0, this negative 2x goes away and you're left with 3y equals 6. So y equals 2. So here's 0, 2 right here to the left 0 or up and then up 2. Okay, and then uh, let's go ahead and put the equation back together here. So when y equals 0, this 3y is going to go away. So when the 3y goes away, we're left with... 2, negative 2x equals 6, so negative 2 goes into 6, negative 3 times, okay? So there's negative 3, 0. When I connect those guys up, write the equation next to that, and let's answer the question. Are those lines parallel? Well, they sure look like they're parallel to me. All right, so that's going to lead into, let's look at this equation right here. This is in the form of ax plus by equals c. Well, when it's in that form, you guys, it's really easy uh, to just get the slope by doing opposite a over b. Okay, so if it's in, if this is called standard form, ax plus by equals c. You take opposite the number in front of x over the number in front of y. So an opposite a over b. Okay, so let's go ahead and find the slope of those lines we just graphed right here. Okay, y equals mx plus b. That's easy. Here's the slope right here, two thirds. Okay, and then this guy we're going to go opposite negative two over three, opposite a over b. Don't worry about the six when you're dealing with slope. So it's just opposite the number in front of x over the number in front of uh, y. So that's equal to two-thirds also. So since they're equal to each other, then they're parallel lines, okay? And that's why they graphed parallels. All right, so which line is parallel to y equals negative 2x plus 4? The one that has negative 2 in front of the x. So this one does right here. So a, a is parallel. That's the only one. The other ones have positive 2, positive 2. So the only one that's parallel to the first line is that negative 2, because that negative 2 equals that negative 2, okay? All right, so now we're going to write an equation of the line that passes through the given point and is parallel to the given line. So it's passing through this point and it's parallel to the uh, line that has this equation right here. Okay, so parallel means I'm going to have that slope right there, 3. So it's going to be y equals 3x plus whatever b is. We've got to figure out b. You guys know how we're going to figure out b? You probably do, you guys. We're going to substitute this in for x right here and substitute this in for y right here because this is an xy point that this line is going to go through. So let's go ahead and substitute those in for x and y right there. All right, so then let's go 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. And we're going to solve for b, so add 9 to both sides, and we get b equals 4. Okay, so the equation, we're going to plug it back up in there, and so the equation is y equals 3x plus 4. Okay, let's try it again with this one. Okay, it's going through this point, and it has this equation. I wish I would have picked a different uh, slope right there, but I didn't. It's too late now, but I wished I did, but it doesn't matter. We'll still get the same sort of result. So we're going to do y equals 3x plus b again. This time we're going to substitute this in for x right here, and then this in for y right here, okay? So there it is right there. So I get negative 30, because 3 times negative 10. We're going to add 30 to both sides, okay? And then we're going to get b equals 30, and it's going to go right back up there. So there's the equation, y equals 3x plus 30. Okay, what if it's in standard form? Okay, remember if it's in standard form, you guys, the slope is opposite a over b. So it's going to be opposite the negative 2 over negative 5, which is 2 fifths. So we're still going to have the same equation. We just don't know what c is right there, okay? So to get c, 
you probably can guess it. We're going to substitute this in for x and this in for y, and then that's going to give us our different c value right there, okay? So we just need to substitute that point in. So I'll color code it right there. This is my pink x. This is my blue y for that pink x and that blue y. So let's go ahead and plug them in right there. And we get uh, 2 times 5 is 10. 5 minus 1 is 5. So c equals 5. So let's go ahead and put it right back up in there. So there's the equation. Okay, and typically, you guys, if it's in standard form when you get the equation, then your answer is going to be in standard form. If it's in slope-intercept form like the ones before that, then uh, you leave it in slope-intercept form. Okay, here's another one, number four. It's going through 2, 0. And careful, they put the y first this time, 2y minus 4x. So let's be careful. It's the same thing as negative 4x plus 2y equals negative 6. Okay, so... Uh, now we're just going to plug in the ordered pair, this ordered pair, 2 comma 0, into negative uh, 4x plus 2y equals some other number than negative 6 right there. And we got to figure it out. So let's substitute that in for x, that in for y, and we should have our new c. So so negative uh, 4 times 2 is negative 8, 2 times 0 is 0, negative 8 plus 0 is negative 8. Substitute that back up in for c right there. And there's my final answer, negative 4x plus 2y equals 8. Okay? All right. I hope you guys are having a fantastic year, and take care.